Okay, so this is loose ends of the penultimate mission for the Marine. I'll give this a bit of an introduction because I think it just throws you straight into it as soon as we, we open the door, essentially. As you can probably tell, things are not going well for White Team. So essentially, um, we're looking for White Team. Um, I think it's described as eight heavily armed Marines about two missions ago. Was it three missions? Uh, a long detour anyway. Two missions is now as number four. Um, I think essentially, if you remember the start of the game, there were two dropships um, coming down to the planet and one veered off in one direction and one was us essentially. I think the other dropship was White Team's dropship and they basically set up camping a bit of the POC which they've secured and which has been uh, safe, relatively safe up until now. Uh, uh, this is when the shit hits the fan for them essentially and uh, we basically walk into them getting slaughtered. So you can save some of these marines um, but then it doesn't affect anything so the game doesn't even like appreciate that you've saved them it doesn't change anything the game doesn't notice as you can see uh, that's three dead marines there's three more up here Wrong one. Oh. So two of these guys and this guy. God, look at that. So you can't save any of these guys. Well, you kind of can. Um, like when you get when you get in here, you can change to the flamethrower. And if you rush forward, you can kill the Xenos, because essentially the thing that kills them, if you shoot at them, or at least I think the thing that usually kills them is that it's the acid blood hitting the Marines, because they have like almost no health, they die straight away. But if you use the flamethrower, um, you can save them. But because of the way this is scripted, you can only save them for like like 10 20 seconds because as soon as you kill the xenos that just attack another wave of xenos appears um but yeah i just want to look at these guys because these guys are all duke's model no can't see it's essentially the same model we've seen before with the hole in the side of the head It's a good model. I think I've said before, it does make me wonder if they were going to uh, kill Duke off at some point in the story. So there's two more up here. Again, I right hear. So if you noticed, this guy's. Uh, this guy survived initially, but then a new Xeno popped in. Because if you, if both these guys die straight away, I think only two Xenos spawn in. So if we'd uh, kept them both alive, then it would have just kept spawning Xenos into the room. So you, you really can't do anything. But we can in this next room. Let's see how well this goes. Oh wow, actually managed to save two of them. God, what happened to his face? So all three of these guys have uh, lines of dialogue, or a line of dialogue. Frosty, you made it. His is the most interesting because it implies he knows Frosty. I, hope that drop ship gets here soon. I think his is just the same as a, a upcoming guy. Uh, I can't remember what his was. I'm going to do an extras video. I think I've done it previously. I've shown it off previously, but I'll, I'll do another extras video for this and show what they say. 
It's nothing massively exciting, but it's interesting. And the fact they have dialogue... The fact they have dialogue when they're supposed to die is really interesting. This guy doesn't. He does have two hats though, which is always useful. Why settle for one when you can have two? So the game's setting us up to, oh dear, setting us up to fight a Praetorian. Uh, which, which isn't that hard to be honest. The game makes it seem harder than it, it ends up being. Oh, okay, did we miss the cutscene? Okay. There we go. Oh no. So essentially you got these guys uh, spawn in and then they rush across. And then we see that scene with the Praetorian. Are we gonna get out of here, sir? They're still coming. Are we gonna get out of here, sir? They're still coming. Are we gonna get out of here, sir? Okay. Just read this. Interesting. So this guy's dialogue is original. Um, this guy, for some reason, he uses a line. I'm pretty sure it's a line from Duke's dialogue. Uh, back in back in collateral damage I think when you're going through the tunnels I think anyway I'd have to compare them side by side to be sure but it still it's definitely Duke's voice and it sounds like that bit coming. sounds like a bit from uh, collateral damage it was like four missions ago though so I'm not sure <laughs> Not 100% anyway. So that's those two marines dead, sadly. So you'll notice that's the marine from earlier. We're right above uh, where he is. God, I love the animations on the Xenos. I like the way you can like maim them, like take off bits of them and they react differently based off what you hear. That's really cool. I'm contacting the Verloc now. So here we have the minigun. We don't have much ammo for it, but it is really effective. I don't think we really get to use it much, to be honest. Yeah. Phew, that was close. I thought... That dropship gets here soon. I thought one of my marines was going to die there. So this is quite interesting. Once you come through here, this explodes off and you can actually hack this to get a bunch of weapons. But to be honest, there's not really much point in this ammo. Like, look at this. We do get the sniper rifle though, which I think is... Aside from the last mission, is the only time you get the sniper rifle. So 
So I think this guy's model, like that guy and this guy, it's the same model. It's the Sadar. It's called the Sadar Vulture. So that's why he's got rockets on the back. Is he supposed to be carrying the rocket launcher, the missile launcher, whatever it is? Uh, and that's the general design. And the other guy's like a riot trooper, I guess. I don't know exactly. It does make me curious what they intended with these different designs. I mean, they look cool. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, like, what was the idea? Dropship inbound. So there should be another Praetorian on the, the landing pad. Oh, there we go. Oh. Make sure it doesn't land on you. Wait, so I was going to say, do these guys just keep respawning or how does it work? Wow, that looks so cool. Oh, I think they do. Okay. How cool is this, though? Though it does look oversized. Oh. I think there's one right, right beneath us. Okay, let's end the mission. And there we go.